Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Sword of Damocles, Warlords. Now, I have received quite a few suggestions for this in the comments over the past few months, even, and I have only just gotten around to installing it and, indeed, booting it up. This is the first time I've booted this up, so hopefully it will work completely fine, because I did receive a small error message when I downloaded it that... I have an unknown version of Mountain Blade. That is probably due to the fact that I am using the Steam version, and it is the most up-to-date, as this is for 1.153, I believe, of Warband. So hopefully this will work no problem at all, and we will now start a new game and see what this is all about. I do know that it is set in a medieval setting, of course, and it has a completely converted map, as far as I am aware and 12 factions as well, so that would be very interesting to see. Now, also, many of you have mentioned that this particular mod does have a huge amount of empire management, so that would be very interesting to see indeed, because as far as I am aware, I have not seen any mods that have done kingdom management on a grand scale, so maybe this has changed the, I suppose, way that mods may work? That might be a rather refreshing experience, and it appears that launching the game is taking a rather considerable amount of time, so I will be cutting away until it has booted up. Okay, so here we are. It finally loaded after another couple of minutes, but there it is. It is the initial boot-up sequence that we are all used to, if you have played Warband in the past, of course. Now, here we are. It has a small intro. I'd like you to know that this isn't Sword of Damocles Warlords. This module is for balancing out the upcoming port. The Warband port of Sword of Damocles is not yet complete, but the Sword of Damocles team has put together this module in spirit of fully porting Sword of Damocles to the T. Major updates will come out in the near future, so stay alert. Now get yourself ready to enjoy Sword of Damocles Test Combatant. Aha! I see. Okay, so it's for balancing. Okay, well... This is what I could get, I suppose, and the original mod, I believe, Sword of Damocles itself, is for the original Mountain Blade, and as you know, I'm not a terribly big fan of the original Mountain Blade, even though it was a trendsetter at the time, and of course, a very big hit in terms of getting a sequel in the form of Warband. So, we will be picking a male, as usual, and I will be choosing a noble, as that will of course give us a good look at the various banners. So, here we are. This is new to me, that is for sure. You came into the world, a son of declining nobility, only only the house in which they lived. Now, your family lived in which of these states right here? I have no idea, so let us go for... Do we want to be wealthy? <laughs> I don't know. Proud? Ancient. Let's go for the ancient empire, why not? That sounds cool. Oh... Your family were strong believers of the Void. That sounds like a fun thing to go for. Yeah, let's go for the Void. Why not? Okay. So, what did we spend our early life as? Well, as I usually like to pick all of the top options for these special features, I will be doing just that. And we'll be a university student, maybe? Yeah, I think a university student will give us a little bit more intelligence, and I would like that, so let's go with that. And personal revenge, of course. Okay, there we are. Now, we do get to take a look at the banners. I'm pretty sure some of these will most likely be what we are familiar with already. And that just leaves me to pick the one that I like the most. Of course, I could pick Barney Bertold's one, but I think that is an exclusive copyright on his part, so I will not do that. I think maybe we will pick something rather simple. So let's go for this one. Why not? There we are. Allow me to quit without saving. Thank you very much. And now, who are we playing, indeed, you ask? We are playing Barnabas Bertild. Oh, yes. Now, this is the youngest son of Barney Bertild himself when he was made king. And Barnabas left when he was a very young lad indeed. He left the land of Calradia and ventured to the furthest reaches of the world, as did many of our other compatriots, including Bruce Bertold himself. And so Barnabas ended up in the land of Sword of Damocles, indeed, oh yes. So, 
we are now going to be spending some of our points. We already have four in Power Strike, which is rather impressive to say the least. Two in Riding, which is great. So I think what we'll be doing is getting at least one point in Prisoner Management, just to make sure we have some. And as a result, I think we're probably going to be increasing our agility, our intelligence, and our strength by one. And then we will be going for Pathfinding. And what else? We'll probably go for some Iron Flesh, because why not? We definitely need some HP. And maybe we will go for a very even distribution, perhaps? Trainer won't be too useful at the moment. Let's go for some Athletics, why not? And we'll probably just go for one more in Iron Flesh, and then some in Inventory Management. That seems like a good distribution right there. So, let's increase our two-handed a little bit, increase our one-handed as well, and then carry on. Okay, so... Now we just have to customize Barnabas, and I will be doing that. Alright, so I have chosen some of the more unique design options in this particular mod, as I thought that they were not available in any other, at least as far as I have seen so far. So I thought, well, let's pick as many of the new ones as we can, and as you can see, he has had a rather brutal scar across his left eye, and he has a bandana as any good Metal Gear Solid agent would have. Oh, I mean, um, Warband agent, of course, yes. <laughs> well, and he follows in his footsteps, and indeed follows in Barney's footsteps by having a magnificent moustache. So, there we are, we will now be heading on, and you and the few men you have with you leave the mainland and take a ship to Ponavosa. And we will start with some relatively good units. Okay, well, let us now turn around the map and we will take a look at it to start with. And, oh my goodness. Hmm. What have I undertaken here? It is rather large, isn't it not? Yes, it is huge. Well, <laughs> this is okay. Very large indeed and very impressive to say the least. Goodness me, look at all the villages. Wow, okay. Well, I cannot wait to get started. All right, so let us start all the way down here at Peach Moss. We are in the Antarian Empire at the moment. We are in their territory, and I suppose we can take a look at some of our units as well. They are all unique units as far as I can tell. Very, very cool looking, I must admit. Look at that. Elite infantry, Antarian nobles as well. Let's take a look at their stats. Why not? Oh my, okay. Well, we have some pretty reasonable units to say the least. Okay, I have no idea. Let's have a practice duel. Let's do it. We should use our own weapons. That sounds great, I'll meet you down there. This is gonna be rather interesting, is it not? Elite infantry, I am actually, oh, I actually have a pretty reasonable sword. It is slow, but hopefully I will be able to use it to good effect. Come on. Let's do it, Elite Infantry. No, he has so many stats and large amounts of HP. This is not good. No, it is not. Well, at least we have seen how amazing the Elite Infantry are, and I can only hope that we will be able to take on a rather large bandit party very soon. So let us head on over to Peach Moss, and we'll take a look in the marketplace to see what kind of items they have included here. Now, as you can see, they already have a unique bow to offer us. Strong leather, long bow. I have not seen one of those before. An old musket. We've seen quite a few of those in the past. And what else do we have? A Dark Knight Espadon, but we already have one of those, as you can see. We have a rusty sword, hunting crossbow, which is, of course, not the greatest. But, yeah, we do not have four in riding skill. Maybe I should have gone for some more in riding skill. Hmm. Well, who knows. We do have a nice book to read on our journey, and that seems to be it at the moment. So that is great. What is this? Large bag of stone bullets. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that is that. Let's take a look at the armor now. We can... Whoa, okay. Thick ornate plate armor. That is looking very nice. Oh my goodness, it's the Moose Helm version 2. Look at that! The Moose Helm version 2! How can you not want to buy it? Oh yes, we have to buy that as soon as we can. And we have a heavy charger here, a couple of them actually. We already have a warhorse in our inventory, so maybe if we get 
suitable amount of riding skill, we might be able to get that. So let's buy a couple of pieces of food here, and then maybe we'll do a guild master quest? Let's talk to the fellow and see what he has to offer us. Do you happen to have a job for us? One of the merchants here is looking for herdsmen to take his cattle to the market at Albium. The cattle herd must be at Albium within 30 days. Sooner is better, much better. But it must be absolutely no later than 30. Oh my! 1900 dinars? Let's do it! Why not? Let's just hope that the herd actually follows us. Does it? Oh no, we have to interact. Drive the cattle onward, please follow. Yes! Oh my goodness, thank goodness, it is following. Okay, thank goodness. This is going to take quite some time, I believe. So let us take a look at where Albium actually is. I maybe should have done that before I accepted the quest, because now we might have to go a very far way indeed. Well, without looking for it, I am going to go to notes very fast, go to locations, and then we will see where Albium is, if I can find it on here. There it is. Show on the map. I have a feeling that it's going to be on the other side of the map, perhaps. Yes. Yes, it's going very far. <laughs> oh no. What have I gotten myself into? Oh dear. Okay. Well, ooh, that looks rather cool. Look at that. That house and town on the hill there. That is rather cool. Well, there's Albium. So it's basically almost near the top which is going to take us quite some time. So I probably will be cutting away, but let us ride out of Antarian territory together, and then I will be cutting away except for special events that may occur. So let us head over, and I think we will stop just here, and that's where I will cut away. So let's just speed up as best we can, and thankfully the cattle is moving rather fast, I must admit. Now, am I going to help this fellow in combat? No, I think he's fine. Now, these fellows are moving relatively quickly. 9.3 they're moving at, actually faster than I'm moving, so I should be able to, in theory, completely speed up and have no issues whatsoever with the cattle following us. Do remember that we have only 30 days and Oh, I thought I had lost the cattle for a second there. But of course, we do not have any spotting skill at the moment, which is going to be rather difficult to see in the dark, that is for sure. Now, I am going to be heading into the Imperial Legion's little town here to hopefully take a look for any companions. And that reminds me, I didn't really check at Peach Moss for any companions in the tavern there either. So that is why I am doing it here. Hopefully we'll find someone. That would be rather nice. And, oh. We have a cataphract unit. As we know, cataphract units are quite powerful. And we do have some Adenian peasants here. Freelance merchant. Ooh. This is interesting. Okay. Aha! Okay, so you can actually buy from this fellow right here. Well, I do not believe that any of those things are going to be better than what I have. But that is always a nice option to have. And I'm pretty sure no one else will be upstairs. No, it appears not. Okay. Well, shall we take a look around the castle? No. Okay. We will not take a we will not take a look around the castle just yet. I would like to head on to Albium as quickly as we can. So let us try to get over here. And now, I suppose I will be cutting away. And the next time we meet, we will be. Wow, that's almost Reformia. Damn it. Really wish that was Reformia, that would have been awesome, but never mind. We will <laughs> start moving on to Albium, and if any real-time events pop up, or if any bandits we spot along the way are available to conflict, then I will engage them and cut back. So, I will see you very soon. Okay, so as you can see, we have stumbled across a battle between deserters and some village farmers, and the feature of this mod is to provide you with the relation that you currently have with particular small factions. Now, I must just mention that I do not know whether this mod is still in development, so some of the things that you may see are a little unfinished, as they were working on, I believe, a while ago, a version 4 of the mod, and this is what I'm currently playing on a 3.93 version, I believe, which is the latest, and 
I suppose version 4 may have been delayed or something ha occurred because I have not heard anything about it on the download page, maybe? But at the moment, it seems like a pretty reasonable mod as it is. So we will be helping the village farmers, as you know, and we will be charging in against 16 deserters. Now we are, of course, in the desert and I can only hope that we will be able to take these guys on without too many losses, of course. Now, my sword is this slow because I don't actually have a very good two-handed proficiency, so hopefully I will be able to increase that rather nicely here. So let us get ready, men! Charge them! They don't have too many lances either. Okay, so... Oh! It appears these fellows, as I may have thought, are Kurgit skirmishers. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I do not believe the Kurgits are in this mod, or am I completely wrong about that? Not entirely sure just yet, but as I said, this is not incredibly finished, but as far as I can tell, the unfinished work is absolutely amazing as it is, so I must just say that, just to reassure some of you. So there we are, we have improved our relation with the Republic of Marina by two. So that is great, and now we can take some farmers and some peasant women there we are. Okay, so we do get to take a few pieces of loot, but I'm not entirely sure whether I really want to. I suppose we should, but, mm, well, nevertheless, as you can see, we are now here. And this is, well, I suppose pretty reasonable, but, yes, it's not exactly... Oh, it's actually not too far away from Albion. Okay, great. Let's head back there as quickly as we can, then. And, whoa, okay, 800 dinars. We do need to get started rather fast. They do want you to start a, your own faction as quickly as you can. That is why they do give you a huge amount of troops at the start. Although, that might be dependent on what kind of options you selected in terms of where you grew up and what your early life was spent doing. So, yes, that is just something to think about if you guys do download this mod and try it out for yourselves. So, yes, without further ado, let us head on to Albium and deliver these cattle as quickly as we can. There we are. Great. Okay, so we have approached the Serenid Sultanate, which, yes, of course, is unfinished still. And 152 units here. Huh. And it does actually tell you that the inhabitants are currently building a messenger post, which should be completed in one day, which is rather wonderful, to say the least. So... Let us head to the Guildmaster. I believe that is the fellow we need to speak to about this task. Maybe. Oh. Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I need to go to the tavern. I think it might be the tavern fellow that needs to take these. And... Am I completely getting this wrong? I think I might be. Okay, wait, let us read this, shall we? Oh, okay, we just need to get the cattle close. There we are. <laughs> Goodness me, I am terrible. Okay, well, there we are. We have finally done it, and we can now talk to the Guildmaster to claim our reward, but that is probably going to be all the way back there. It won't be here, I do not believe. Is it? No, it isn't. Okay, well, there we are. We do have to go all the way back, but at least 1900 dinars is going to be waiting for us when we arrive. So, what do we want to do now? Do we actually want to try taking this? Hmm. I think we might have a good chance of it, really, because we do have our elite infantry, but, of course, as you see here, some of our other units are not exactly the greatest, but who knows? We might be able to do it. Shall we try? Hmm. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll actually try this. Why not? It is a special feature. It is a temporary thing. So, let us try to do it, shall we? Oh yes, we will. So, I will be, I suppose, waiting for some time to rejuvenate our unit's HP. Of course, I'm not entirely sure whether any of them were injured in that particular skirmish that we had previously. But, I would like that to happen. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so as you can see, we have built our ladders to Albium's battlements, and we also have additional options here, as you can see. Wait for 12 hours, wait for 24 hours, that's wonderful. That's very nice indeed. So, here we are. We have, I believe, 58 troops, and we are against 150-something, so we are going to be having a rather big fight on our hands, but I have faith in our units that we will be able to deal a significant amount 
of damage. Of course, this is not boding well at the very start, as you can see. So, <laughs> this is just to show off a rather nice battle, and the texture work on the actual castle itself is pretty reasonable, I must admit, because usually it is not like this. It is very different indeed, so it's rather nice to see something new, I have to admit. So, let us do this. Come on, let's get in there as quickly as we can with our two-handed sword. Let's try to do a little bit more damage than we have been able to previously, and I can only say that I think we are probably going to be losing this, but it will be a rather nice demonstration, I must admit, of the mod's combat capabilities, and indeed, what you are going to be facing. Go on, let's do this. Yes, take that fellow down, and for some reason I cannot get up there. It appears I do need to go round, perhaps. Oh my, that's going to give them a lot of time to shoot me in the back, isn't it? That is not good. Oh, we have advanced to level 2, and I just took 29 damage. No! Okay, well, if I'm going down, I suppose I'm falling off the edge there. Oh yes, well, <laughs> there we are. Now, as you can see here in the pink lettering, you can still order your troops by using the battle menu. Now, I am going to hopefully attempt to do that. As you can see here, this is the battle menu. You can bring this up with your backspace key by default. And I have rebound it to my middle mouse button, so I'm able to bring it up very easily indeed. But, as you can see here, our Antarian veteran infantry are doing such an excellent job that they have cleared the battlements. And look at that skybox. Look at how magnificent it is. Well, <laughs> there we are. I actually had a small camera malfunction there, so that is why it was pointing a little bit upward. But, how many units have we lost so far? Quite a lot. Well, we did take out 78 of their units, which is pretty reasonable with a force of only 58. So, I think that's not too bad. And, as you can see, we do have some very unique units indeed. So, I think after this, even though we have been defeated, I am going to be cutting away and taking a look at the various other units that you may find at the other factions as well. So, as to give you more of an in-depth look at how many units you can actually get. So, we are going to be retreating here and abandoning the siege. So we will then head off towards the north, and I will be heading all the way to Leedshaw, I suppose, and maybe to Kentwich as well, and then to Etana, and I will hopefully be able to find maybe a companion and some other units. Okay, so upon arriving at Etana, I did check into the tavern, but unfortunately there were no companions. However, I did find a couple of these fellows right here, Hired Blades, and indeed they do have some pretty reasonable stats for such a cheap price, because I believe I got, how many was it, seven of them? For around 260 dinars, that is very cheap indeed for such a powerful unit. Now, as you can see here, I have done a little bit of progression with some of these units here. As you can see, the Villianese faction, which is, I believe, over to the right here. These fellows right here. Yes, they are the Villianese. And these fellows over here are the Adenians. So... The Adenians are good at cavalry, and maybe infantry as well, but I think they are mostly good at cavalry, as you can see here. They have heavy cavalry units. Now, I found that, as you can see due to the Antarians, they do not, I believe, have heavy cavalry, as far as I am aware. Now, I think Antarians actually specialize in elite infantry, and maybe even skirmishers a little bit more than that. A little bit more than the Adenians, of course. Now, as you can see here, we have some heavy cavalry units, and as you can see, their stats are so immense. Very, very nice indeed. Now, on the other hand, the Villianese faction is all about the archery, as you can see. The Villianese sharpshooters are the highest ranking archers that you can probably get, and as you can see by their stats, look at that athletic skill. Eight in athletics, what the... Wow, that is incredible. And they have some face paint on as well to merge them into the trees as flocks of arrows fire out of them into their opponents. So yes, that is incredible as well. So yes, just a little bit of a preview on some of the units that you may indeed encounter and may indeed want to use in the Sword of Damocles Warlords 
preview sort of thing, because this isn't actually, as you saw at the beginning, Warlords, it is a preview of things to come. So, yes, hopefully they are still working on this. I have no idea about that, because, as I say, I have not seen anything on the download page, so hopefully they are, but if not, it is already a pretty reasonable mod, and I certainly have a lot of fun with it. As you can see, look at how many factions and just so much to do, my goodness. And indeed, the quest from the Guildmaster itself, in my opinion, was very valuable indeed. 1900 dinars just to escort some cattle? That is great. So, yeah, that's wonderful. And I think as a result of that, I will be ending this special feature off here. And I suppose we will see how the development goes with this. And hopefully, version 4 will be coming along. If not, then... Give it a go, guys, and see what you think yourselves. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.